Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about retrieving topwater lures when you're in a kayak. Now, because you're in a kayak, you're really limited on space. You know, you're lower to the surface of the water, so you can't really work the rod tip down too much, which you would typically do if you were higher up in a boat or even fishing from shore. So, rod length is going to come into play, and also, you know, the direction and positioning of your kayak in relation to where you're trying to cast. So first let's talk about rod length. I actually prefer a rod that is a little bit long, you know, the 7 to 7 foot 6 range because I want that rod tip to be past the front of my kayak because that will allow me to keep that rod tip lower if I'm retrieving, you know, towards the front of the kayak. But most often I'm going to have the rod out to the side and I'm going to be retrieving that way. And the side that I'm going to have the rod on when I'm retrieving and popping the rod tip is going to be the opposite side of where I'm holding the rod. You know, if I'm holding the rod with my right hand, I'm going to have the rod to the left and popping the rod that way. You can also do it, you know, out to the other side, but it's going to be most effective if your rod is out to the opposite side that you're holding the rod with. Now, it doesn't really matter if you're sitting down, standing up, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. So just to give a little demonstration here of how to retrieve, I'm going to go ahead and cast it out. And you notice I'm facing the direction that I'm casting to because, again, you're in a kayak, you can't really turn around. You could cast a little bit out to the side if you needed to, but for the most part, you want to be facing wherever you're casting. And then with the rod tip, you're pretty much keeping that rod parallel to the surface of the water, holding the rod out because you know if you have a longer rod butt section it can hit you in the shirt and the stomach so you want to keep your arm pretty much extended and just retrieve with the wrist also you can see sort of bouncing the rod butt off my forearm and that helps retrieve the lure as well so you're not really using your shoulder it's just all in the wrist to the elbow and just pop that lure back to you now you can find some rods that have a shorter butt section, just makes it more easier to retrieve the lure because you can keep the rod closer to you and you won't get as fatigued. But if you do have a longer, you know, end or butt section of the rod, you're going to have to hold the rod away from your body a little bit than you normally would. And you can also retrieve top waters with sort of an upward pop, as you can see there. And I'll only really do that if it's not too windy, because if it's too windy, the wind's going to catch your line. So if you go to retrieve the top water with the rod tip up, I prefer to do this if it's calm out. And you can do an upward retrieve, just like you would be bouncing a jig on the bottom. You can see that lure still has that same side to side action. Now something else to consider is to make sure you don't have anything out in front of you on the kayak. You know, if you have another rod out in front of you, that can get in the way. If you have your paddle, you know, hanging off too much in the front of the kayak, that can get in the way. Because you really want to have the front section clear of anything that you might hit the rod tip on. So just keep that in mind. And also, again, like I said, ideally you want to have a rod that is long enough to clear the front of the kayak. So hopefully these tips can help you out if you are trying to find the best ways to retrieve topwater lures when you are in a kayak. Again, you're really limited on space and you have to be positioned properly, have a decent sized rod so that you can clear the front of the kayak and any obstructions you may have in front of you. That way you can use a topwater effectively. And this really comes into play with any type of hard bait because you're typically keeping that rod tip down and doing a sort of twitch twitch pause motion with that lure. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also keep in mind if you need any lures or tackle, be sure to check out our shop page at fishstrong.com where you can pick up these topwater lures in addition to anything else you may need. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind you do get up to 20% off everything on the shop page. So be sure to take advantage of that. So that will wrap up this video. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.